What's going on guys, Steve Pulaski coming back with another review, this time of the movie Pain and Gain, Michael Bay's latest in Diva. Is it worth watching? You're going to find out right now. Uh, so what's going on? First off, before I even get into any review, I know this is going to be a very weird time to say this, but thank you guys so much for the outpouring of support that I got from my last update video that I made on Wednesday. I was hyping this pretty big, okay? This is probably one of the biggest things that I've ever hyped, if not the biggest, with my, announce with my announcement video detailing where I'm going to go with my reviews and what that... Um, the whole um, deal that I had online that I was talking about, how it worked out. Um, I did that video on Wednesday, okay? And I was hyping it at school, too. For you, those you know who know me outside of my videos, you know, I was really trying to make a big deal about it. I was trying to be a little secret, be more reclusive. But I was also not trying to tease you guys. I was trying to be loyal, and I was trying to give you guys what you wanted. I wasn't trying to be unfaithful or anything. I got tons of questions about it. I got tons of congratulatory remarks, you know, via text message, via phone calls, via in, or via in person, um, on my videos, everything, man. Twitter was blowing up. I was telling you, I got so many responses on Twitter. So thank you guys so much for all your support. It means more than I can ever, than you can ever believe. And, um, also, I want to say, too, if you go on the IMDb critic review page, I'll link it below right here for Lords of Salem, you can now see my critic reviews are now eligible for the um, the critic reviews, the external review section of IMDb. You can look at that now. Um, that That's up. I'll link it in the description. I'm gonna, you're going to start seeing if you're going to uh, my reviews on the critic review section of IMDb. I'm very excited about that. And plus, this weekend, you know, I got Pain and Gains coming out, or Pain and Gains out, and this is what I'm going to talk about in a minute if I can ever shut up. And then um, Iron Man 3, so I'll have those up there too. Anyway, Pain and Gain, Michael Bay's movie, The Plot. Um, it basically is a true story too, by the way. And you want to know how you know a true story is stranger than fiction? It's so screwed up that it has to remind you towards the end of it when stuff gets really crazy that it is still a true story. That's how crazy and that's how if, if, if the if fiction if fiction couldn't be this weird, okay? It has to remind you that this is a, still a true story. Um Honestly, why am I seem so excited about this Michael Bay movie? Um, because I like the Michael Bay movie. This is the first official Michael Bay movie that I can say that I have liked ever. Uh, I tolerated the first Bad Boys. I hated ba Bad Boys 2. I hated Armageddon, and I'm going to rewatch it soon just to torture myself. I hated Armageddon. Um, whatchamacallit. I hated Transformers 3. I never saw Transformers 2, and I didn't like Transformers 1 the more that I think about it. So, this is the... I I really often cite, if you guys know me, I cite Michael Bay as probably my, the, my least favorite director working in the business. I don't like him, okay? I mean, I, I'm i not, not saying anything about his persona. He might be a great guy. He might be a cool guy to sit down, you know, have a drink with or something. I don't know that. But... As far as his filmmaking goes, I don't like his filmmaking at all. But 2013 seems to be a better year for him. He's got uh, Platinum Dunes' his company, which, you know, uh, ruined the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street. But we won't go into that. I want to say uh, Platinum Dunes is releasing uh, The Purge this uh, this year. And June 7th, it got pushed back a week. So I'm looking forward to that. He has no involvement in that other than a producer's credit, and it's his company. So it looks pretty good. And Pain and Gain is the first official movie I could say I liked by him. The plot concerns these two guys that work at this place in out in Miami in Dade County called um uh, Sun Jim. Okay, and their names are Daniel Lugo and oh man, I can't remember the other guy's name. This is embarrassing. I can't remember the other guy's name. Uh he's played by Anthony Mackie, who's uh one of those that guy actors, you know, he's in Gangster Squad, he's in um a ton of stuff, the more that I think about it. Um yeah, he's in a lot of stuff. Of course, I can't think of any on the spot right now. He's in 10 Years, that movie. He's, um, he was Tupac and Notorious. Yeah, he's been in a lot of movies. And Mark Wahlberg is Daniel Lugo. So what this is, though, it's about these two gym, these two guys that work at this gym. They're like spotters and they're trainers. And they try and push their, uh, their clients to the limit at this one at Sun Gym. And so what winds up happening, though, is they get one of their, uh, one of the trainers comes in. He's a really wealthy guy, but he's also arrogant. He's very self-centered. And all of a sudden, Daniel and his buddy, who I, the name I still can't remember, uh, starts with an A, I think, um, they start seeing that, hey, they're not really liking this modest lifestyle. They want to be bigger, you know, they want their wealth to be as big as their muscles, to say something. So they team up with The Rock, who is like an ex-convict, and um, and he's an ex-junkie as well. So they team up with him, and they basically go on a spree, uh, go on a spree where they kidnap the 
that guy, that wealthy, arrogant guy that comes in, they kidnap him, they torture him, they finally get him away to they finally get him to sign away his rights and everything, his home, his money, his wealth, everything to them, and then he and then like I say, they torture him and leave him for dead pretty much, um, and then they try and kill him, but then he went as you know their that plan doesn't go so well, and he winds up coming back, hires a private investigator played by Ed Harris, and things get nuts. I cannot explain what goes on in this movie. All I can say is that I had a hell of a good time, which is weird because. Uh, I, going into this, I, I still, even if I, I don't like Michael Bay, but I said I'm going to go into this, it looks like a more of a story-based kind of thing. It looks like it pays more attention to actors. And you know what? Honestly, as flashy as it is, as kind of stupid as it is, and as kind of detestable as it is, and it's funny. And I'm surprised, too, because at first I was off-put by the idea of making these three idiots, because that's what they are, uh, these three morons like... You're laughing at them, and you're thinking to yourself, this is a true story. A guy, you know what I mean? I mean, and this is an, actually a, a true story. Several people died, and it was like, you, they're making this funny, but it's like, it's that black comedy mix that I love. And Michael Bay and writers, um, and then two two writers who wrote this, of course, I can't remember their name. Christopher Marcus and um, uh, Stephen McFeely. I'm horrible, or McFeely, I'm horrible with names today. Um... And, you know, you think that this material isn't the kind that they could make funny, and it really shouldn't be funny, okay? It should be more of a lesson, but Bay really holds his ground, and Marcus and McFeely honestly do do a very good job at making this story work, okay? And it's very flashy, okay? It's got the exterior of a music video, okay? And it's dumb, okay? I'm not gonna stand here and pretend it, or sit here and pretend it's smart, okay? It's a stupid movie, all right? It's filled with dumb characters, dumb situations, but I laughed a lot, and there's a lot of humor in this movie that works. Case in point, the scene at the hospital. I haven't had a bigger belly laugh in this year, okay? I'm going to be very honest right now and say that. I have not laughed that hard. And it's the scene in the hospital. I'm giggling just thinking about it. Um, the scene in the hospital, okay? There's nonstop laughter in that, okay? And I, I, I got to get this out of my head because then I'll laugh about it when, when it's over, when this uh, video is over. That's good stuff. And Michael Bay, the thing is, though, even though I don't like Michael Bay, I got to remember, I got to keep reminding myself that he's not a writer, okay? He never wrote a movie. He's a director and a producer, above all. And But the thing is, though, is that he makes his movies just out to be so much more than they are. And, like, Transformers, man. I mean, that movie suffered from a lot of crap, but Michael Bay can't be held fault-free on that one, okay? It's a visually heavy movie there's a lot going on and i suppose he captures it well as good as it could be but his movies are not my movies okay i don't care for him that much but after pain and gain i'm definitely going to give this guy the benefit of the doubt because he really handles this material well also great performances by the rock uh Wahlberg, and um anthony mackie as well and tony shalhoub who plays the the guy with all the wealth that gets robbed from that they're they have good performances in this. That's the last thing I think to say in a Michael Bay movie, but um, they got good performances in this. There's some pretty funny writing. It gets a little over long, but the ending, the last 25 minutes, last 25 30 minutes, you will be hard pressed to find a crazier array of events this year in film. Okay, that I, that's what I have to say. You will be hard pressed to find a movie with a with a more with a more involved climax. Okay, and I'm seeing Iron Man three tomorrow, so I don't know if this. Yeah, maybe I'll contradict myself tomorrow. But that it, it was it's crazy how the end works. You know, just with all like they're, they're chopping up carpeting and they're you know grilling something that's not food. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't. I'm trying to. I don't want to go into too much because I really want you guys to see this. I really want you guys to see a Michael Bay Bay movie. Believe it or not, because I mean it is just funny and as detestable as it is, as over long as it is, as stupid, dumb, you know crazy as it is and it's just as moronic as it is it is fun it's good entertainment i was never bored i unlike my mother i was never bored during this i was excited i had tears in my eyes from in some scenes from laughter you know what i mean but and and then the thing is though like, like the other thing i wanted to say though is that besides the fact that it's kind of making humor out of stuff that really isn't that funny i mean come on it really that's not murder's not funny okay but the thing is though um the other thing I want to say is that it get, it's a little flashy, but at the same time, it's also the good-looking kind of flashy that, like, even though it looks like a music video, it's still, like, appealing, even though there's kind of a lot going on and everything. You know what I mean? It's not, like, 
like Armageddon was like there was so much going on and it was so flashy and it had the level of depth and look of a music video okay it had the level of depth is what I'm saying this at least gives some attention to characters and, and the other thing too I want to say is These guys are stupid, they're not bright, and they're really moronic, and what they do is not something to, you know, um, is something to respect. But at the same time, the question could go full circle and ask, then why did you make a movie glorifying it? I don't know. What I do know is I want to really read, like, the three-part um, Pete Collins now, um, writings on this that were, like, they talk about the whole story of the Sun Jim gang and everything, and I really want to read that. It's online now. Um... Because there's, like, no Wikipedia article on this either. And it was like, you know, if, if what happened is seriously as big as what happened in this movie, which it might not be because it's still kind of a dramatization. You know what I mean? But if it's like, is the, if everybody was that involved and if all the cops had this and that, it's like there needs to be at least a stub of a Wikipedia article on this thing. You know what I mean? I believe it happened, but it's just weird that, like, you know, nobody knows, nobody really knew about it. Nobody was talking about the three bodybuilding murderers, you know, before this movie was even advertised. I don't know, getting way too ahead of myself. So, Pain and Gain, three stars, okay? That is the highest rating I've ever given a Michael Bay movie. Previously, it was two and a half. You see, I have two and a half fingers trying to do something. Uh, two, and a half, uh, two and a half stars for um, Bad Boys. That was the highest rated one. But, I mean, I am not a Michael Bay fan by any means. But this movie, I will give him the benefit of the doubt, and I will keep might maybe seek out some of his other movies, or some of his newer movies, you know, with a little bigger of a smile on my face anyway though thank you guys for watching stuff if you haven't keep in mind these videos are a companion piece to my written reviews you will not get my full opinion here but for my full opinion you gotta go to the written reviews which will be linked below when they are live okay guys thank you all for watching thanks again for all the support it's been great i hope to give you guys some more um really great content soon thanks bye